Greetings, I'm Liz. And I am Scandal. And, and let's play a game together. together. Yes. Look at this. Level 1000. Uh, I, uh, uh, I wonder oh if getting to just level 1000 and staying there would get you through the first 30 days. With only 240 stars left, I'm not sure, but I'm curious. That's a good question, actually, of being like, all right, guys, this is how far you have to get. So we could find out, but I have no clue. I think I think I might hold off on playing for a little bit and find out exactly how many levels it takes versus like like how many stars to get through the first thirty days of just the original story, and and then we can just have that as our wrap up on our, right. on our you know for our series. That or if you keep playing, what you do is you go. What I ended with was I was on two hundred and forty stars, and then you subtract the level difference. Yeah, pretty much. That's fair. All right, so uh, here we go, my dudes. Let's do it. We are gonna study the land. Record. Oh my, oh my god. god. I was so been... excited about that yeah. yesterday. Like, dang. So we, we usually do these in batches, but we didn't get very far last time. But it, oh my god. Oh my god. They're just it's the coasting. Brady Bunch. Two, 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 two. Oh boy. Time to pay, take a peek at this land's record. Uh, it's huge. Oh, whoa. It is actually there. So we've got this watermill. The land record, the Larson. La Rosa. La Rosa. La Rosa State, 1958. Yep. Yeah. So that tree was carved before they owned it. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So here's Luke's tiny little dive over here. Here's us. Yep, for Except the house. Except that's him. What's this thing over here? I don't know. And then there's something else outside of here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we own... Okay, so we do own that area in front of the hangar. Is he going to make us remake that? No, that's fine. That can stay shrub and, you know, whatever. Right? Uh, like, it's fine. I mean, we turned it into something else in that area, didn't no, we? No, because no. your hangar's in here. Well, we just completely abandoned it. Okay. And with that was where just Luke drove his truck through. Right. And then uses your highway or road coming through here. Yeah, okay. So we've got this water mill. Which I is where? I think it's here. Or is it right here? I'm not sure. Anyway, you can't see where we're pointing, but we're trying. The big lake is definitely where the, you know, the uh, island is. Yes. And then we came down, and then I think that's where the I'm Zen guessing. Garden, and yeah. And this is your water mill. Yeah, it should be oh, down okay. here. Okay. And there's some big ass thing with a moon water down here. Oh, great. That's <clears> so <throat> exciting. We have more to do. Some kind of quarry to the southwest. A little tower or something. How can you read a tower? Great. Then some sort of other building on the southern edge and a Grove of trees. All right, cool. Right. If this is all of it, I might be able to get it down in time. I hope Especially so. Especially with enough magic. Uh, uh, you have eight days, and that's it. Uh, with a little help from your friends. Are you going to be helping again? Ah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jones. As I said, just focus on the special condition. I know you'll be just fine. The special condition being with... your approval? I have no idea. I think. Oh, that reminds me. I uh, had a question. Um, Probably about Arturo and Leonardo. Probably. Would be my guess. Because you were here back in the day, right? Talk to Philip. Sure, why ha, not? Let's find out. She's just got her standing around waiting. Ha -ha. It's fine. It is. I'm so right. Well done. Yeah, I, fist bump. <clears throat> I saw the names of Arturo and Leonardo carved into that tree over there. I figure Arturo was Uncle Arthur. Do you know who Leonardo is? That would be Leonard Ritchie. Leonard Ritchie. Leonard Ritchie. Oh, like Ricky and La Rosa, or Ritchie and La Rosa, like it says on the mill. Oh, yes, the two families were in business together and were quite successful to boot. Doing what exactly? Exactly. I, I need to know. What were you doing? Skill. What, I, what were they doing? What? Business how? I didn't know Uncle Arthur was a businessman of any kind, let alone there were two families that lived on this estate together. Uh-huh, which would make a lot more sense and, and also be way more, like, useful and where also... Where did the other family live? If there's the house up there, did they live in the mill down here? Ah! Uh, Is there another house somewhere? somewhere? Was the mill a house? I don't know. Oh, he wasn't. Your great uncle sold his share of the business to Leonard long ago. He preferred his art. I... Ah. So he had... He started it, but then he didn't continue with it. Yeah. I uh, after the sale, Leonard excised the La Rosa name from the business. It's just Ricci's now. Which you can do once you own Ricci, the business. Ricci. Whatever people Ricci. I say whatever. La Rosa. No, Ricci. Uh -huh. Whatever agreements people make in reference to I'm selling you this business under these conditions, once it is sold to them and legally removed from your personage, unless you maintain legal right over those conditions, they don't have to maintain them outside of any specifications inside that legal standard. Yeah. So unless you specify for the next 50 years, for the next 5,000 years, for the next whatever, and without any ability to interact with it, 
kind of thing. Like, like people can just change things. Like, yeah, it, it happens. happens. They really can. Once they own it, once the property is no longer yours, mm -hmm. even if they said, well, we'll do this, and legally they've said they'll do this, there's still ways around it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wait. Like... Richie, Richie, I, I, Richie. Like Richie's frozen pizzas, Richie's pizza sauce, Richie's gelato. Do they make all that stuff in the mill here? Whoa, the very same. In a mill. Wow, you're really just gonna tell me that everybody that's tied to you has so much freaking money and it's just waiting for you to pick it up. This is what this keeps sounding like to me, and it's really weird. All of your extended family on this side is all completely rich. Uh, and then we'll find out your mom's actually a successful rock star, I guess? As for Leonard, he only likes to use the Ricci name to sell Italian food. He likes to call himself Mr. Rich. Oh, he's trying oh, to buy the property back. He is! So he's actually trying to get his family estate back and then set it up maybe as like a big restaurant and getaway kind of thing. Yeah, or something. Who knows what he's trying to do exactly with it, but he is trying to get back what was originally also part of his... Family. family heritage. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's interesting. That's interesting indeed. Mr. Rich. Come on, Lily, you got this. I've heard that name somewhere before. You oh can do this. Oh my god, you can totally do it. Oh my god, you can do Have this. Have an epiphany, please. please. Oh, oh nope. no, we have to replace the roof first before she remembers. Dang oh it. Oh my god. I would hope the character would remember faster than that, especially because it was something that made her She's really angry. The raccoons all just running uh -huh. They're just running back. You've just got this basically Pollyanna experience with the <laughs> dog and the dog and the raccoons. We we're all giant family. Now. We love. All right. Really is a wonder the whole roof didn't collapse under that tree. I mean, if you don't look inside, you don't know what's holding it up, so maybe it's not a wonder at all. Aha! Uh -huh. Except for I know very little about wooden carpentry, so you know, who knows? No at least one thing around here didn't lapse under pressure. Under uh, pressure! And she's like, ah, uh, ah, mm -hmm. sigh. Hey, uh, you did good. You sent him packing, or so I assume. Or so I assume. And if you didn't, you're still having your process, which isn't my process, and that's okay. Uh-huh, pretty much. I you assume correctly, except he had nothing to pack. And Honestly, it I... took me finding out that he was actually unequivocally trying to swindle me for me to actually assert a boundary and stick to it. Again, we could be doing some interesting character crap here and having character discussions of going, hey, by the way, let me extol to you what exactly happened. Let me explain, uh, you know, what what the occurrence was that basically also caught the inciting incident that caused me to finally drive him off, basically. Would be nice. It yeah. would be really helpful, actually. I'm going to get up there and start patching the roof. You want to tell me about it? I should. Ah. That would be great. Thank Yes, God. let me, let oh. me tell you about See, it. See, good, good short hop of where you don't have to have everything on screen, but you just sort of, like, use Assume it as a part of Assume she now knows. Goes. Okay, yes. so the problem I have with this, again, is still going, how can you repair the roof without getting to the internal structure? Yes. So without looking at what's inside, what kind of beams it has underneath, what's going on in that building. I, we just disappeared, Regina. Poof. Bye. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, uh, Regina. No. 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 I, ooh. ooh. Is that Is that brick? brick? I think that's supposed to be like a terracotta tile, but those look like bricks. They really do. I'm gonna go standard. Sure, Just, why it's not? It's fine. I repaired all the end of structure too, it's fine. Uh huh. How's that look? I. Looks like a roof! Ha! Hey! Ha. Great. It's a roofable. It's a roofable. It's. It's. Ad. Ad roofable? Ad roofable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I can't say it's I'm. Ad roofable. Oh. I don't, right? Anyway, I can't say I'm super surprised that Blaine was lying, but what was Larry doing there? Okay, that was really well done, actually. Like, Good we job. started the conversation. You, the reader, has already seen all of this. Yeah. And then we just go, we continue from there, assuming the reader can keep track of things and doesn't need a flashback and recap instantly. Right. I like that. Well done. Yeah. However, if you were struggling really hard with these later levels and you had those two scenes, like, you know, two, three weeks apart, that could be a little challenging. Uh, yeah, just a bit, especially because you cannot go back in time. It's actually been one of the things that I think is very interesting about this particular story mm -hmm. is that like there is no way to hit the rewind button. There's no way to go to previous levels and play them again. Yeah. There's no way to go back in the chart and see parts of the story again. And I don't know why that choice is there except for to drive people forward potentially. Mm -hmm. Could be a marketing choice of going if we only drive people forward and never let them go back. They won't go back to perfect levels. They won't go back to do the three star candy crush thing. Uh -huh. They won't go back and dwell on this other experience, they'll go forward, and since the only way they can go forward, if they're blocked off from all other content, then they're more likely to pay to mm. go forward yeah. because they need boosters, they need the deals, they need whatever it is. Yeah. That would be my best guess from a marketing perspective. 
And I'm not a big fan of marketing and selling things. And even when I have great ideas for making a whole lot of money, I go, yeah, but is that serving anyone enough to actually justify the money? And I don't like to operate the system that I'm in. So sometimes I'm just like, here's this really cool idea. And I'd like to just walk away from the idea of money now. Bye. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Uh, what was Larry doing there? All right. Uh, that's what I'm still puzzling out. I... Didn't really let Blaine explain. Anyway, let's fix the walls here. Finally, except you're usually supposed to start for the foundation and go up, but okay. Or at least, you know, sure. tearing the thing open and seeing what the what condition the wood's in. Right. But it's also would be really weird to replace the wood before you replace what's, I mean, the roof before you replace what's under it. Like you're literally doing this backwards. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, it's right. wild. Time to put up some walls. But the walls are already up. Ah, nope, metaphorical walls. Protect oh, yourself. Huh, Defend yourself. Huh. There is so much metaphor in this one. But we've been breaking them down so well today. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, yeah, but we're going to just keep some pesky boys out. Aha. Uh -huh. I take it back. I actually hate you, and I'm leaving again. Uh, oh, no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. Show me how you want them. I... Uh, Regina... Sometimes I miss the jokes. I might be too broken and sensitive to deal with this kind of humor mm. right in this this particular moment. Honestly, the fact that Lily looks so, like, fine with it, it sort of bugged They just moved the sign. That's adorable. Yep, it's fine. And Bye. the original's not even there at all. I guess the closest you could get maybe would be the red one. I say the red one? I mean, that's the type, I guess, but I'm just like, I... Also, I don't know. I kind of want to do the windows first and then match the siding to those. Yeah. But this looks very fun. I like that. Those ones are always fun. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that design. one a lot. Hi. Like this. Because you totally know about stucco, right? Yes. Hope you do. All right. So, again, I've had this weird thing of going, like, Regina over time. And also, I feel like I've contributed to it. But I do feel like with Regina's language, it has slowly become more and more Ave. Which is not a bad thing. Clearly, it's not. I'm just confused because originally, like, it establishing the character, they didn't really seem to have that. And now we do seem to really have that aggressively. They're like, oh yeah, I forgot we have a black character, so let's make them really, like, super black. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't want to give anybody that impression, but I'm really confused going, like, now I can't tell because it's a choice. So sometimes... Kind of thing with writing. There's an experience. When people write something that's a serial or very episodic or that is published regularly and then they can't go back, where they develop their character slowly and they go, oh, this is who I meant to be writing all along. Uh -huh. Or now that I know this character better and they're more of a character than they are just a filler for a story device. Right. Um, then you start trying to write that character and you can't go back and change anything. Or is it one of those experiences that might just be Regina over time because we've gotten to know Regina better. Regina has been basically using more and more basically lingo that they're actually more comfortable with using compared to, you know, what I'm doing is using my professional white person voice. Uh, like that is that, the white customer service voice. The white customer service voice, which is a actual thing and is terrifying by the way. So, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, that could be and she's just getting more comfortable, more casual mm -hmm. with us. Which, I like that interpretation a right. lot actually, I actually compared prefer to that. Yeah, compared to other things. Yes. Perf. Huh. Totes perf. <laughs> That's I, adorable. Oh, whoa. Why? The cutscene. And we're whoa. into a cutscene. The scene went... <laughs> well, it looks like the place won't collapse on us now. Yeah, but the windows are looking pretty bad. And we don't even know what the inside looks like. No oh, kidding. I mean, thank you. Not collapsing is good. You did great work, lady. Thank you kindly. We can tackle the door, the windows, or the wheel right now. Oh, uh, well, that's three tasks. Your call! Here we go! Yay! Poof, poof, poof. Let's huh. get them. Clear water wheel. Oh, I, it really there is they all. Are. Hey, all of them were mentioned. All of them were discussed. How nice. That is actually really appreciated in terms of, like, where your story's going, so you just know what's going on. Yeah, for both my, my friend here and I, we, we have talked a lot about how the choices that aren't mentioned feel a little non sequitur sometimes. Yes. Or we really don't know what they're in connection to because we're not included in the experience. And, yeah, I think... Clear water wheel. That just means, like, clean it up, right? I think so, yeah. Like, right. you have to do a couple of steps first. You know, like, we were originally supposed to clean the walls or tear the walls down no, before we would just replace the walls kind of thing. But Anyway, yeah. I like being included in the fullness of the story and where these ideas come from. Yeah, we're just yes. going to get all the wood and stuff off it. No wonder this thing isn't moving. It's dirty. It's rusty. The water isn't connected. I... Ugh. Okay, so there's I still... water going under it and through to the other side. What does she mean not connected? So this right here, see how this actually is oh, where the water... Oh, it won't pour over the wheel. Yep, so the wheel isn't going to be running no matter what. The wheel does look like it's the sitting in the water, not... though, just so you know. I know. 
It really does. But that also actually really helps it. Really also, well. how the hell do you get the trough up on top of it at some point? I don't know. We'll find out. So I don't know exactly how water wheels really work. I've just mm. seen them. They're that fun frontiersman, you know, sort of looking thing that everybody loves having in their stories. Like, well, right. All right. Well, I guess we can start by cleaning it. Fixing it seems like a Luke thing. No, it's mm. wood. It's really still wood. It's really super wood. Why would you think that's a Luke thing? Where is he, anyway? I haven't seen him around. His dog's been here. I mean, his daughter's dog's been here. I mean, uh... His daughter's been here. He's got his own stuff to do. He can't always be here. He's I really... tell myself about me for my opinions, and he's not, not here because he doesn't want to be around me. He just... He doesn't live here, you know? He also, again, doesn't seem to be here very often at all, but okay. Yeah, but you only have a little over a week left. I figured maybe he'd be here pitching in. I mean, we're not very close, and I haven't really attached him to my personal struggle, and he's got a lot going on on his own, and there's no reason I have to expect him to help, even if it sounds cool that he might. We really are near strangers, you know? Still. Uh, still. Hi. Uh, uh, not his problem. Come on. Let's clean this thing. Why does this seem like a Luke thing? It's wood. I don't understand. Since when is it just wood his thing? I because he's <clears> big <throat> and strong and manly. A little later. Wood da, da, da. is now Luke's thing. Aha, it is. There we are. See, I... there's the top and it goes all the way and then you shove it back into the water and it helps uh, turn it from the top as well as from the bottom. So you pull the water from here and turn it from the top to go against I think you the do water both. on the bottom? Okay, so the thing is, is the water's running this way, which should be turning the wheel that way. But then if we run water this way, it's going to be basically oh. fighting into two currents Maybe it is just you're supposed to push it all the way in the back, and then that way it takes all the water, and then it just dumps it on the top, and that way it gets it spinning. But why I... it's not spinning from the bottom, I have no idea. Anyway. Anyway, look at these. Looks like a filthy wheel gets the elbow grease. Oh, my God. Hi. Hi. Eh? Eh? The, the filthy wheel? The, the filthy wheel. Is it? <clears throat> Do not push me for a response to your puns today, ma'am. You will not like it. I... Why are you guys friends? Why, one, Either why that are or is, is this supposed to be a joke? Like, is this a joke that I just can't get? Because, again, I have no access to this because these people still barely know each other. And you what get, the crap? And you keep going, Regina, of I am here for you. We are casual. We are close. We are comfortable. And then the cat girl, I just don't like how you do things or how you talk. Yeah, pretty much. I'm like, and I why? Go, what? It's I'm weird. not saying that you have to like everything that your friends do, but some of it is maybe it's just a cultural thing. Like, I do not get the the level of like basically yep. aggression. All right, I gotta look I at just this. don't understand. I ooh, so yeah, that's a pun. I don't see why the wheel wouldn't be turning in reference to that water flowing under it, unless like the gears are bad. But I mean, do you, you just, just shove this rusty. over and move the entire thing. Uh, maybe. It did say it was rusty. So. Uh, now we got clear weeds that we're not attached to. Well, we tried it. For one magical second, we were attached to everything. Ah, dang. We had everything there. And all there. I'm also just like, again, part of Lily's personality seems to be inherently loving puns and plays on words. Mm -hmm. Why does that, if that irritates you so badly, she's going to have to carefully tailor her language to things that make her experience more lighthearted and more fun right. when you're around to mm -hmm. not annoy you. And I have to say that the people that I've known who have done that, they have an intrinsic part of themselves that very much adds to their joyful and expressive experience. Yeah. And then when they're around the certain person in their life that they're either friends with or unfortunately dating, uh -huh. um, they have to carefully not do that piece of themselves. And sometimes, in the cases that I've seen it in dating, it'll be like, and my other friends are here, so I'll make this joke. And then the person I'm dating will stare at me like that's so irritating why and they'll be like and now i need to remember to be even more more careful because this irritates them great awesome. and that's just always bothered me as a, a sort of a trope or a convention so i also hey. feel like your ladder is not safe there at all my dear my nope. dude nope my bro like you've got it my on homie. like like some mud and in some moss and i feel like like no shame the windows are broken i kind of like that old melty glass and old timey buildings uh -huh. look do you so, know why it's old and melty, though? Because huh? they didn't have the same glass tempering technology they have now. Yeah, and so actually over time, your glass literally has been melting in the sun and it's slowly sliding. Downward. So if you don't know, glass is actually still considered, as far as I understand, to be a liquid. liquid. Um, it's flowing, but it's flowing very, very slowly. So, uh, Which is why it's really, really cool to look at like hundreds of year old stained glass windows and uh -huh. then to talk about the flow and essentially drip of them. Uh -huh. and it's fascinating. But also, back in the day, even if they're not actually flowy kind of thing, they look melty because the glass wasn't tempered the same way, so it oh, was yeah. this bubbly, uneven thing. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty cool. It looked neat. Time makes puddles ah! of us all. <laughs> Time what? makes fools of us all. Time oh, makes puddles of us all. Oh, no. Oh, God. She Time looks genuinely sad. 
Not me. I'm going to look 25 forever. You know what they say about bl about black. What? About black. About black. Once you go black, you never go back? I don't know what they say about black. I don't know either. Is that the one they're saying? I have no clue. I'm... I don't know. I... It's good? I... Resilient. Long lasting. I... Uh, no. Well, no. Yes, it's good, but it doesn't crack. Black don't crack, Lils. I... Do what? I know that one? Do I know that one? I don't know if I've never heard that one. I mean, ever, you've ever if heard, I've ever heard, I've never heard I that. Think I think, well, I was trying to say, I think I've never heard it, and I don't know if I've ever heard it, and I ran both of them together. Good so job! I don't know if I've never heard that one. Ah. Oh, I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> I, Are I, you fucking sorry? Yes, yes. So there, there was this one where somebody else did the exact same thing and ran two statements together. We mentioned it in a different Let's Play at one point, and it was just the, this person has this terrible accident, and they try to say, I'm so fucking sorry, and are you okay at the same time? And they go, are you fucking sorry? Uh-huh. And I felt horrible about it, but anyway. Yes. I black don't crack. I might have to look that one up. I don't I know. I might have that to one. as well. I'm I'm like it sounds vaguely familiar to me, but I can't place uh, it. So oh, right. Uh, yeah. Just show me what kind of windows you want. I will pull out the catalog I was using to show Karen and show you. That's and what will I will do. do it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, no. Look at that oh. nonsense. That's. Cute. I bet you that one's supposed to go with it. Uh, that's but. very simple. Only one shutter. Just half a shutter. I know, have I'll a shutter. cover half the window in times of storm. Those look like uh, decorative shutters. I really like this one. I do too. It's really Done. pretty. Green! Very pretty. Yay, green! It also goes with the benches like motif a little bit. I oh no! I love that one. I also love that Lily's persistent about it instead of going. I will hide this part of myself. Like she continues to get hurt by it and continues to feel sort of embarrassed or uncomfortable when Regina tears her down about her language. Like I just don't have time for this nonsense kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But she also persists of going. But this thing makes me happy. I'm not doing it to you. It's just who I am. Right. And going. I appreciate that you don't have to laugh. It's just me. Me. Yep. Classic. Is that like? Classic plus glass. Yeah. It just, it kind of sounds like you said classic with a head cold. Ah! <laughs> classic. Classic. <laughs> it's classic. It's classic. All right, all right. Uh, all that's right, ridiculous. Well. All right, well, I guess then in the next one, we will do something. Um, we have several different options, so uh, if you like what we do, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and please also feel free to share our videos with anybody that you think might have a good time with us. Other than that, though, uh, if you'd also like to support us more directly, please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. we got some links in the description down below, and I have been Scandal. And uh, I love that he's actually sitting and he stays yes. there where other characters disappear. This is so good. Uh-huh. And I have been Lies. And it was great playing with you. Bye!